when you're first diagnosed with cancer, you're terrified. It was just a shock. A part of me was devastated. You cry because this is not what you expect to hear. You're wondering what the future holds and what treatment will be like. Find comfort that you are under the best care with Oxner Health System and that you can get through this. Welcome to Oxner Cancer Institute. At Oxner, our staff understands living with cancer is a life-changing experience. You may be feeling different emotions and have many questions. Know that we are here for you and your loved ones. There are several options of treatment for cancer. Chemotherapy, often called chemo, is the use of medicines or drugs for cancer treatment. Radiation therapy uses high energy particles or waves to destroy cancer cells gradually over time. Surgery might be part of your care, especially if the cancer has not spread to other parts of the body. Clinical trials are research studies that may offer new, potentially promising therapies for treating cancer. The Oxner National Community Oncology Program represents one of the largest clinical trial networks in Louisiana giving patients the opportunity to receive the best treatment currently available for their type of cancer. You and your doctor have determined that your treatment includes chemotherapy. Chemo can be used to cure cancer or to cause it to go into remission. Sometimes chemo is used to help improve a patient's quality of life. But how does chemo work? To understand chemo, it helps to understand cancer. Our body and its organs are made up of trillions of cells that perform the body's functions. When new cells are needed, signals are sent to the right cells to divide. Within each cell is DNA that contains information to control the division process. Sometimes the DNA that instructs cell division becomes damaged and cannot repair itself. The cell grows and divides uncontrollably into more damaged cells. These are called cancer cells. Tumor cells form when the cancer cells multiply and replace normal cells. Cancer cells don't stick together very well and may break off and form additional tumors. This is called metastasis. Chemo works by targeting fast dividing cells, which is a characteristic of cancer cells. There are many ways to receive chemo. The most common way is by intravenous administration, also called an IV injection. This is either in a vein or through a central venous catheter. Another way is by taking a pill. For patients having long-term chemo, an implanted port may be used to deliver medication. This port remains in the patient for the entire treatment. Chemo drugs are usually given in cycles with rest periods for patients. This allows time for your body to recover and let healthy cells be replenished. Chemo treatment can be in an infusion center, a hospital, and some drugs can even be taken at home. If you come to an Oxnor facility for chemotherapy, be prepared to spend anywhere from an hour to all day with us. Wear comfortable clothes and bring books, magazines, puzzles, or portable music with earphones to help pass the time. I used to have blonde, long hair down here, and um, I remember today just um, going to the beauty salon and getting my head shaved. That was the, op the route I decided to take because I felt like that was one thing I had control over at the time. And I did not shed one tear when I did that. And um, I'm not saying that is gonna be the same for everybody, but it was kind of like, okay, cancer, I'm ready to beat you. <laughs> you start losing today. Chemo works by targeting cells in our body, which are rapidly dividing. Since most cells in the body are not rapidly dividing, they are left alone. But some cells, such as those in our digestive system and the ones that form hair are continually dividing. If these are killed off, you may experience nausea or hair loss as a side effect of chemo. When it comes to side effects, each patient is different. Based on the type of chemo treatment and how their body reacts to the drugs, some patients may have several side effects, while some have very few, if any, side effects. The most common side effects from chemo are fatigue, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea or constipation, and hair loss. You may also have a decreased appetite, memory problems, often referred to as chemo brain, and a reduced sex drive. 
To minimize side effects, you must take care of yourself, get plenty of rest, eat nutritious foods, prevent infections, and be physically active. When you're going through chemotherapy, it's very important to try to maintain your health, uh, eat properly as much as you can. I know at times I didn't have an appetite, so I couldn't eat. But when it picked up, I made up for it. You know, when you start to read labels on things and, and then you start eating healthy and you start seeing results, it's very encouraging because I know it makes a difference. Maintaining good nutrition throughout cancer treatment may be very challenging, but eating the right foods during and after treatment can help you feel better, stay stronger, and improve your chances for beating cancer. Try to eat more nutrient-dense plant foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and beans. Colorful vegetables and fruits and plant-based foods contain many natural health-promoting substances, Many foods in packages and from restaurants contain a lot of salt, fat, and added sugar. These processed foods are not healthy. Add protein to your diet with chicken, turkey, fish, and eggs. Eat only a small amount of red meat per day. After it is cooked, the amount should be no larger than a deck of cards. Also, don't eat salt-cured, smoked, or pickled meats, such as bacon, sausage, salami, bologna, ham and hot dogs. Instead, bake, saute, or grill your meats. Cook meat and eggs until well done. Use the plate method when planning your meals. That is, fill half of your plate with fruits and vegetables, one quarter of your plate with proteins, and the final one quarter is for starch foods. Drink plenty of fluid throughout the day. Try to have one cup every two to three hours. Avoid soda, sugary drinks, and limit alcoholic beverages. Also, avoid any unpasteurized dairy and fruit or vegetable juice. It is very important that you are practicing safe food handling methods to prevent contracting a foodborne illness. Wash raw fruits and vegetables under cold running water for at least two minutes before eating. You should stay away from salad bars and buffets since you cannot know how well these foods have been cleaned and prepared. Do not eat any food that has been sitting out at room temperature for longer than two hours. Finally, refrigerate any leftovers, but do not eat anything more than three days old. Oxner has a registered dietitian to discuss a diet that's best for you and assist in managing your nutrition needs. I became a mall walker. Found out that one lap of the mall was almost about three quarters of a mile. A lot of times my body just wasn't up to being active, but um, when I could, I was up every morning. I think a strong body gives me a good defense to fight my cancer. Staying physically active each day can enhance well-being and improve recovery. In fact, research has found no harmful effects on patients with cancer from moderate exercise. Physical activity increases muscle strength, which may be affected by surgery and some cancer therapies. Exercise is a great way to relieve stress and improve your appetite. Your ultimate goal is to be active every day for at least 30 minutes. You can be active in many ways. Try walking, lifting weights, riding a bike, dancing, mowing the lawn, or even washing your car. Practicing yoga is a great way to keep joints and muscles limber. You should start exercising gradually about five to 10 minutes each day, and work up to around 20 minutes or more a day. Be sure to listen to your body and rest as needed. Patients undergoing chemo are at risk for getting an infection. This risk is highest when your white blood cell count is at its lowest. Getting an infection can be a life-threatening complication of chemotherapy. Follow these three ways to prevent infection. First, watch out for fever. If you get a temperature of 100.4 for over an hour or a one-time temperature of 101, call your doctor immediately. It is a medical emergency and you need attention. Second, clean your hands. This includes you, those in your household, and anyone that you come in contact with. Don't be afraid to ask people to wash their hands. Finally, know the signs and symptoms of an infection. Even the slightest sign or symptom of an infection is serious. You should call your doctor right away. 
never be afraid to ask for any support. The Tom and Gail Benson Center have a great support system with uh, social services, yoga groups, support groups. I had a great family support, friends, pastor, church family. Those things meant so much to me. The staff at Oxner Cancer Institute believe spiritual care and medicine go hand in hand. Our trained social workers and chaplains offer support to people of all faiths and beliefs. They can connect you with programs, support groups, and other people going through similar experiences. Oxner knows that health insurance and paying for services can be a big concern for our patients. We offer a financial coordinator to assist you with billing questions, payment arrangements, and financial assistance options. Know that there are many warriors and survivors that have walked in your shoes and that have made it. Live one day at a time, plan one day at a time, but don't forget to live. Keep a smile on your face. Keep a positive attitude. You can make it. It is doable. Keep strong for the people in your family. Let them see. Be an example of someone who's gotten bad news, but they can still get through all of this and go on. It'll be a journey, but you can keep your head held high and fight this and stay strong. Mm -hmm.